the women of wrestling, Holly Swag and Big Rig Betty bringing the heavy metal to the ring. They're ready for this no disqualification. Hardcore matchup for the WOW World Tag Team Championship, David. Well, they're deserving of it. Vicky Lynn and Penelope Pink, of course, hitting him over the head with those mirrors several weeks to go. Giving the Carlson twins a shot and an opportunity to go for the championship against the Tonga twins. themselves in the silver wow world tag team championship titles history making record breaking there you see him lovely lauren luscious lindsey like them or not they are sweet heat and they are david your wow world tag team champions but tonight big rig betty and holly swag have a shot at the silver championship. Well, this is unusual in the fact of the rules, Nigel. It's a championship bout that permits. That's right, no disqualification and hardcore rules, which means weapons are allowed, David. There are no rules. Oh, my. Well, we gotta remember Vicki Lynn McCoy, of course, went through that table when the Beast took her in, and that took her out of contention. So let's hope tonight that doesn't happen to one of the competitors. I hate to see anyone hurt. That's right, we've seen Lana Star, Penelope Pink, and of course, Vicki Lynn McCoy, the enforcer, insert themselves into these tag team matches. Hopefully that's not the case tonight, but Big Rick Betty and Holly Swag with the metal chairs, they are ready. The referee said put the chairs down and the girls and twins came right in and took advantage of that opportunity. They are pure opportunists. Lori putting the boots to Holly Swag, and on the front of the mat, Lindsay's got the mother. Big Rick Betty as she jams her head into the top of the ring. And now Lori going to town on Holly, and Big Rick slammed into the ring again. Lindsay, Lori, the tag team champions of the world. They're the Carlson twins, Miami Sweet Heat, and they've got the chair, Nigel. And David, this is our matchup for the WOW World Tag Team Championship. This is how we're kicking off this edition of WOW. And yes, we have another championship match coming up in our main event after this. Now a Sweet Heat defending the WOW World Tag Team Championships, David. And this is a long time coming, the championship opportunity for the Mother Truckers. That's right, their first shot ever at the championships in WOW. And Holly is slammed face first, right into the steel chair. Her face jammed right in there. That's what they call the Miami Express, David. Tossing Holly Swag right onto the chairs and Big Rick Petty breaking up the pinfall attempt. Didn't even get a one count. Mama Big Rig with the headbutt. Holly's face is gonna feel it in the morning, if not just tonight and now. And these two superheroes, Holly Swag and Big Rig Betty, sending the chairs right into the face of the Carlson twins, thanks to the assist of the super kick and Holly Swag and Big Rig feeling it, David. You hear him, you see him doing the honk honk. Yes, and the fans know it, honk honk. And taste the championship. They've been wanting to get their hands on Sweet Heat for quite a while, and Fab Four has been nothing but a thorn in their side. Going back to the handcuff matches, David. Close line on Lindsey Carlson, courtesy of Big Rick Betty on the swag. The pit on Ooh! That trash can went right into the lip of Lindsey Carlson. Her own sister, Lori, going down to jam it on Holly Swag. Holly moved out of the way, and it hit her sister. Now Holly's been jammed in the head with the trash can. Ooh. A nice kick. The mother falls right on the daughter. Lindsay pulled the daughter into the corner. The mother 
Big Ring Fatty in trouble. Trash cans and chairs, anything goes in this championship match. That's right, David, and like our friend Stephen Dickey used to say, this is bowling shoe ugly, and it looks like Lori Carlson could possibly be setting up for that signature coast to coast, David. Nigel, here it comes, pillar to post. together to take down the big rig. The Carlsons both have the mother trucker herself. Big rig Betty in the corner. Little Holly Swag trying to get to her feet, trying to defend her mama. And now they take her out also. Oh, what a right hook delivered by Lindsay. Now a boot to the midsection. Lori choking the mother. Big rig Betty across the third rope. The mother truckers have never been in trouble like this before, ever. The mother truckers are taking a pounding in this championship match, fans. And sweet heat. On heat is a cutter from Lindsey Carlson. This is it. The mother truckers have basically been taken out of action. And now Lindsey just kicking away at the mother, saying it's over. The Carlsons go to the outside. Oh, no. They're picking up the ring apron. They're grabbing a table. They're grabbing a table, Nigel. They're sliding it into the ring. Referee Eddie Burt backing up. Lori telling the fans to shut up. David, this cannot be good for the mother truckers as Sweetie continues to stop away at Big Rig Betty and Holly Swag. You see the heavy artillery coming into the ring, the table being introduced. We've seen trash cans, we've seen chairs, and now we see the Wild World Tag Team Champions, the Carlson Twins. Miami Sweet Heat continuing to dominate in this matchup for the Wild World Tag Team Championship, David. That table's there almost as a teaser, if you will. Somebody's going through it, you know it. They're not setting up for dinner, that's for sure now. No telling what's in the back of their minds, but nonetheless, they want to make sure that they have both Big Rig, Betty, and Holly Swag down. The Tonga Twins, I know, are watching this match. The Tonga Twins, the former champions of WOW. They want that rematch against the Carlsons more than anyone. But the odds were that Mother Truckers needed to have a championship title. Vis-a-vis -vis Vicky Lynn and Penelope Pink taking them out weeks ago with those mirrors. This is the result of that and the signing that was forced upon me. Here you go, Holly Swag being placed on that table like a sacrificial lamb. And Lindsey Carlson saying it's over. Lori Carlson. Lori going up high again and Lori's gone. Oh no! Holly just spit out of the way. Lori Carlson just went through the table. No one was there to break her fall. Holly's going over. Holly's grabbing Lori. Holly's going to go. Holly's going to go. Holly's going to go.
It's been a few weeks of history-making events here at Wild Women of Wrestling. And what a tag team match that was. Very proud of the mother-daughter team. They started their careers in Kentucky. They've come out here on their own. Netflix did a feature on them, and they're deserving of being tag team and champions. Our opponent, accompanied by the other half of Spring Break 20. Target on their backs now, Nigel. The Tonga twins are gonna come right after them. And so are the Carlson twins, right after them. The journey was to get the titles. It's gonna be harder to keep them. And Big Rick Betty and Holly Swag are gonna have some challenges in life now that they've never faced on the independent scene of professional wrestling. The crown, David, as we kick off this match between Adriana Gambino and Sandy Shore. Crystal Waters on the outside of the ring watching her tag team partner, Adriana Gambino, getting trapped up. Sunset flipped by Sandy Shore. This thing's gonna end quickly if Sandy Shore can keep moving like that. Both of these young competitors live in Florida. They flew in here to Los Angeles, California a few days ago. Sandy Shore arriving about five days early and Gambino two days ago. Both of them are here now in WOW, competing inside the purple ring of the famed WOW Women of Wrestling. As Gambino takes advantage of Sandy Shore, takes her back, and there's Crystal Waters on the outside, cheering on her friend. Adriana Gambino just standing on the hair of Sandy Shore, pulling up her arms, an insulting way to punish your opponent as that patented split-legged choke from Adriana Gambino onto Sandy Shore. David, I cannot wait for our main event tonight. We've already got new champions and that of the mother truckers, the Sicilian Slice gets two count, but could we see a new champion tonight in our main event with the Beast as she takes on Abilene Maverick for the richest prize in WOW, the WOW World Championship. Well, Nigel, you used the word new champion, new champion. The Beast is the former champion, I'd like to say, and has has never been pinned once to lose that championship. She had to give that championship up willingly due to the injury to her leg from Vicki Lynn McCoy. Of course, we all know how that ended up for Vicki Lynn McCoy. Abilene Maverick better watch out tonight as that's our main event. Beast, the former champ, against Abilene Maverick, the current champion. <laughs> And Adriana Gambino continuing to punish Sandy Shore. Big scoop, big slam, middle of the ring. You can see the pain etched on the face of Sandy Shore as Adriana Gambino once again goes for the pinfall attempt. And you can question what she does in the ring, but you can't question her success, David. Eight wins and an undefeated streak. When is Adriana Gambino possibly going to get a title shot against Abilene Maverick? Or after tonight, could it be the Beast? There's no doubt it's in line. Everyone's shooting for Abilene Maverick, but the Beast had to get that shot, obviously, before Adriana Gambino. Without a doubt, the Beast, as you said, never really lost that championship. Sandy Shore fighting her way back into this matchup, going for a pump kick. Hey, that's a move of Adriana Gambino's. Did you see that turn by Gambino catching her though right in the chin? And Adriana Gambino setting up and hitting it. That's the chef's kiss. Crystal Waters is upset watching this, and there's the three count. Adriana Gambino continues the victory streak. Taking out Crystal Waters with that pump kick and sending Sandy Shore surfing to the outside. Introducing first, accompanied by Samantha Smart from the Board of Education, the Class Master. The Class Master, accompanied by Samantha Smart. A 
Of course, Samantha Smart put all of her contention, G.I. Jane, disciplinarian, and the class master together, had them in a competition amongst themselves. Leader of the pack match. And G.I. Jane came out victorious. And now, the class master's here alone. No one with her, the disciplinarian, not here. And she's gonna go in against a fan favorite from this city of Los Angeles, California. Someone that originated her career with WOW Women Are Wrestling. That's right, David. Stephanie Slays, we are awaiting her entrance into the arena here, David. But now you see the class master, six foot two. An absolute athlete is the class master, and Samantha Smart has done all the analytics. And she knows that the class master is who she wants to invest and her time in, David. From Dallas, Texas, Stephanie We're talking about somebody who studied a lot and who's made her life outside of wrestling as well. Steffi Slays, you know, she's quite the educated lady. Yes, she is, Nigel, working in that Dallas hospital delivering babies. She's something special for sure. Steffi Slays is here, and she's got a big competition. Let's not all forget, many years ago, approximately four to five, Steffi Slays took on the challenge of fighting the beast, and it was at the chicanery and trickery of Abilene Maverick that she did so. So Abilene Maverick, has always been up to something here in WOW. And tonight, she'll be up to something when she wrestles the Beast to defend her championship. You have to wonder if G.I. Jane is watching this match in the back to make sure that nothing funny goes on out here, David, in this matchup between Steffi Slays and the Classmaster. We just saw, David, big championship change at the top of the hour. Brand new tag team champions, first ever mother-daughter duo to hold the championships, Holly Swag and Big Rick Betty, better known as the Mother Truckers. And coming up after this matchup, David, we've got one more on main event, a championship matchup. Really need right, Nigel. Master introducing the face of Steffi Slays up into that top turnbuckle, you know. Ooh, and there you see Samantha Smart just breaks that ruler right across the ankle of Steffi Slays. The bedazzled ruler, that is, as the class master takes it to Steffi Slays' snapmare takeover. Kick right into the small of the back there of Steffi Slays, David. Class master showing her dominance. Also with a little assistance, though, of Samantha Smart. Classmaster, you know, she definitely has a reach advantage in this matchup, size advantage in this matchup, but Steffi Slays is no stranger to climbing mountains to accomplishing her goal now as the Classmaster. Take a look at the power as Steffi Slays slips out the back now. Schoolgirl roll up, gets a two count, but not good what? enough for the three, David. Classmaster jams on Steffi. So much going on here at WOW. Be sure to check out WOWE.com for the latest updates, and especially latest updates on our Trios Tournament, Dave. Trios Tournament Championship action coming next week on WOW Women of Wrestling. That's the Read a Book Leg Drop, David. Read a Book Leg Drop. Are you an avid reader, Nigel? I sure am, David. That's terrific. What do you read? Well, there's one book that I'm reading right now that's a, a you know, self-love book, and you learn little things like that, but also like autobiographies of some of the historical figures in wrestling. The last one that I read was uh, Queen of the Ring by Jeff Lean about Mildred Burke, but now we go back to the ring. Mildred Burke, who, by the way, made a name for herself out here on the West Coast. At the Olympic Auditorium. As Steffi slays up on the top turnbuckle. And now she swings up and takes down the class master. Takes down the class master with a face buster now. Referee Ben Scheinberg very close to hitting the three count, but I believe, I believe the class master's legs were so long, she slid that leg underneath there and also was able to kick out at the last second. Steffi slays took down the class master with that maneuver. That's not an easy task to do. Nasty big boot from the class master. Hooking both legs. Oh, there it is. Class master put the boot in to Steffi for the victory. The class 
past master, proving that she, in fact, is a great investment for Samantha Smart. Crucifix pin, but the Beast caught her up in a fireman's carry type position. Dropped her down with a Samoan drop. Hooks the leg. This could be it. They're the new champion, though. All oh, these fans here that have seen titles change hands already in this episode a while are ready to see it again. These fans are hungry not only to see Abilene Maverick get beaten up from post to post in this arena, but for the Beast to hold that WOW World Championship in her hands. What's up? Shoulder's got to be in pain as she flew, trying to go into the midsection of the champion, and the champion slid out of the way. The Beast in trouble right now. A kick to the midsection. Abilene Maverick, the champion, taking over on the Beast. And Abilene Maverick with the legs wrapped around the neck of the Beast, trying to take out the oxygen of the Beast. It's hard to do anything, David, if you can't breathe, if you don't have any oxygen going through your body, and Abilene Maverick knows that. She has scouted the Beast. She has studied tapes, no doubt about it, David. This is a big challenge, and Abilene Maverick, no matter how lackadaisical she may seem, has studied this. That's why she has been hanging on to the championship. Now Abilene Maverick taking that neck of the Beast and 
ramming it over the top rope, David. That solid steel cable. Abilene Maverick now in control of this matchup. Jamming away on the Beast. The Beast has never been in trouble like this before, ever. You're right, David. I don't think we've seen the Beast this down in a matchup that I can remember in recent memory. And Abilene Maverick once again going back to what brought her to the dance, that brutality. Just bearing those forearms right into the chest of the Beast, tonight's challenger for the WOW World Championship. Don't think that's going to be enough to put away the Beast, and it wasn't, David. You mentioned it, Nigel. People don't know that Abilene Maverick can play it dirty, but she's also got the skills of a champion, that being knowing wrestling scientifically. But right now, you wouldn't know it as she's taking it down and dirty with the Beast. And once again, Abilene Maverick, several kicks to the midsection of the Beast, trying to break down the biggest, the baddest, the Beast in any way she possibly can. Confidence oozing out of Abilene Maverick, who hopes to hang on to the Wild World Championship of the Beast. And what sends Abilene Maverick down to the canvas? Abilene Maverick might not know where she's at, David. The champ's going to need that Advil, Tylenol, or something later tonight. She's going to need more than that if the Beast gets done doing what she wants to tonight, David. The Beast is in control, and this is a bad place to be if you're Abilene Maverick. Abilene Maverick has been able to escape several challenges, but this is quite possibly the biggest yet. The Beast has Abilene Maverick. She's got her in her grips now as the Beast looks out to us in TV land of the Big Slam, the world's strongest slam. She can feel it. The fans in the arena can feel it. Can you feel it, David? Abilene hit the back of her head. Abilene hit the back of her head on that map. Similar to Ariel Sky many weeks ago. That can take you out when it hits you in the right spot. Abilene goes to the ropes and is holding on to the ropes, saying, you got to break it, referee. Jeff McGowan trying to pull the beast back. And that's no easy job for official Jeff McGowan, the champion Abilene Maverick, buying herself some time. You're right, Nigel, and now Abilene Maverick getting to her feet to rush the beast. And the beast has the champion, and the beast bomb, will she connect? Can she get her all the way up?
championship around your waist. No, 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 listen, listen, listen. Beast never lost. That's true, no one ever pinned the Beast. She had to give it up under that injury vis-a-vis Vicky no. Lynn. She can earn her way back up to that championship spot. I don't owe her anything. I'm the world champion. I don't care what you call yourself. See, I'm, I'm the big bad beast. When we go toe-to-toe -to -toe in the ring, then we're gonna see who top dog is. <laughs> The blood in the eye is coming down from the mother. The daughter is Holly Swag. 